you're invited to a community praise and worship autumn concert Friday, November 11th at 7 p.m. at the International Institute, located at 111 East Kirby in Detroit. Featuring Darlene and Sarah and Company, Irene Washington, Simon Black, Ernestine McCall, Pastor Aaron Shackelford, London, Washington, Patricia Stark, Reverend Eli Harvey, Corporate Prayer Leader, Elder John Milborn, and more. All are welcome. If you would like any additional information, you could call 248-701-0885. That's 248-701-0885. Sister to Sister on YouTube.com slash SheBizTV. Listen to read and see, share their perspective on topics like five rules of dating and love in the Bible, plus more. Also, you can share your feedback by emailing SheBizTV at Yahoo.com. So don't miss Sister to Sister on YouTube.com slash SheBizTV. That's youtube.com slash shebiztv. Check us out. You're invited to a community praise and worship autumn concert Friday, November 11th at 7 p.m. at the International Institute, located at 111 East Kirby in Detroit. Featuring Darlene and Sarah and Company, Irene Washington, Simon Black, Ernestine McCall, Pastor Aaron Shackelford, London, Washington, Patricia Stark, Reverend Eli Harvey, Corporate Prayer Leader, Elder John Milborn, and more. All are welcome. If you would like any additional information, you could call 248-701-0885. That's 248-701-0885. Thank you for coming back and tuning in to Connection with the Christian Life. Yes. Uh, we're standing in behalf of Pastor Tony Hicks. We pray for your healing, uh, Pastor, for your, your quick return. Um, we have another guest in the studio. It's a young lady. Mm -hmm. I'm just happy to be affiliated with her. Mm -hmm. This is Sister Mrs. Okay. Danielle Clayton. How are you? I'm fine. Great. Um, we are, our young lady over here, um, Minister Lazina is going to have to leave, so we're going to ask her. She's going to say a prayer in a minute, but I would like for Miss Danielle to tell us a little bit about herself. And mm -hmm. she she's a woman of God. She's got a women's <laughs> ministry, so tell us a little bit about what's going on, Danielle. Well, my name is Danielle, and my business and the ministry is also called Woman I Am. And basically, it's just it's not so much encouraging because it's the word incorporated with it as well, but it's helping women of all ages understanding and knowing what their purpose is through christ and what it is and who who we are mm -hmm. as an individual and a lot of times being out here and it's not being in the world it's being of the world when you don't know who you are as an individual or your purpose mm -hmm. or what it is that you are to do then a lot of times you could be lost out here you can have a yes. good okay. job you can Fall have short. the money mm -hmm. all of the above but when you don't know who you are as an individual and within and your spiritual walk then it plays a major role with you being of the world and being lost out here so basically that's my main purpose in life is to help women men whoever god puts in my pathway to just understand and know that life isn't what you actually think it is until you know who Christ is. And that's the number one Amen. thing that we need to know, right? Mm -hmm. Number one thing. So Amen. you want to um, tell them a little, and you too, tell them a little bit about your business. 
Oh, well, which one? <laughs> well, hey, one I one. wear many hats. You do wear many hats. Yeah, well, we can see her. We can see about she five hours. She got a pretty hours, one right? on today, too. Matter of fact, she got a pretty hat on today. Well, um, I am also a manicurist, and I'm at Salon Detroit. So a part of my ministry, it's, it's just all God is just, he's just so amazing with how he does things. He do things. Um, I'm a manicurist, and I'm at Salon Detroit downtown. Mm-hmm. And... They're so I have such a major clientele that he has blessed me with to where there's if God places on my heart spreading the gospel. That's my main purpose. Mm-hmm. And as I spread the gospel, I try not to because I know that everyone really doesn't. People say that they know God, but when you truly know God, mm-hmm. like they it'll bring forth conviction. Like when you have an <laughs> intimate relationship with him. So people want to know who God is and all of that, but they don't want to have the relationship with them oh, wow. that now brings forth conviction. <laughs> right, mm-hmm. right, right. So, you know, a lot of people, I know God and this, that, and other, and a lot of things, but, you know, with me doing the, being a manicurist, I'm able to minister, and that's what touches touches my heart. And it's not so much of the designs and what I can draw and how people love the artwork and everything, but it's more so the word. And I don't do it with everyone. And your ministry you know? is going forth in through your work. Well, through I'm your just through your hands. I'm just the servant. Well, just that's serving. why God is blessing you so much. I'm, Amen. I'm just mm-hmm. serving. <laughs> and and uh, so we have, uh, Lazina, you got to tell them a little bit about what you have going on, too. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, I have a salon as well. Um, it's called Dazzles. It's located on Six Mile and um, Evergreen in Detroit. And, um, I'm a manicurist as well. That's where I started out being as a manicurist, and I was start, that was my first hat. And then um, I'm a cake decorator, and I'm a florist, so I wear a lot of hats as well, you know. And um, I also have a women's ministry, but I also have a prayer ministry, and my ministry is helping women to discover the gift inside of them too, mm-hmm. you know. And um, because they don't they don't value themselves and that's why they sell themselves short you know because they don't really know the true value that God sees in them Mm -hmm. you know if they could really see the true love that God has for them then they would really they would just fall in love with him and then God would totally bless them Mm -hmm. with with the the love that they're really looking for I think that that word that you love a lot of a lot of people find a lot of people look for love in all the wrong places and you can't even say I can't even say that they look for love in all the wrong places people really do not know what true love is That's God exactly is love right. mm-hmm. and his love is not limited it's Mm-mm. unconditional mm-hmm. and there's no there's no oh you did this so this that another God loves us even when he convicts us and shows us our rights and our wrongs he's still there just mm-hmm. somebody that com- just everything about him is just love and when you have someone that loves you unconditionally like that that's when you know you can move forward Mm -hmm. and knowing what true love is from others and Mm -hmm. just within yourself also i know that's right i can testify to that we have two two uh (laughs) entrepreneurs here including myself so i might as well say what i do Mm -hmm. a little bit okay because like daniel said don't ask everything because you'll be talking all day but i I have a, a um a business called and it's called it is delicious foods that i bake i bake home baked goods mm. home baked cupcakes home baked <laughs> yes you gonna have time to eat <laughs> got all the we just finished consecrating i start from the scratch <laughs> of it and um and i just love doing it it's called london's delectable wholesome delectables and i also make jewelry so if you see a little bit of my jewelry i guess i might i don't know if you can see it from here my hair is caught up in it but i make jewelry as well, mm-hmm. jewelry design. It's pretty, too. We do everything mm-hmm. from net clothes and everything else. Everything. So if we all of us get together, mm-hmm. which Ms. Lozina and I have been talking about doing uh, an affair. Yep, bazaars. A bazaar at her, at her place. So mm-hmm. we can uh, and invite people in and, hey, come in, come in and see what you what yes. we got, you know. And we got lots of stuff. Come support us lots and come see what stuff. we do. Mm-hmm. Let, us, let us give you some gifts. Mm-hmm. So, we'll some um, deals and good gifts. And right. Stuff, so gifts. Uh, we want to thank Pastor Tony for giving this opportunity to let us mm-hmm. talk about what we do. <laughs> so we're going to get back into ministry, but we want to say that being Christian people, God blesses his people to do many things mm-hmm. too he says your your gifts will make room make for you yeah at the same time it's ministry yes he and said it, if you be faithful over one he'll make you ruler over many and so. you know what when god get when you are in christ jesus and you are whatever you touch god is blessing mm-hmm. so even if it is a business and and just to, sometimes you don't have to say nothing but touch somebody's hand you're doing the nails well, that's the word the, the jesus christ is coming through you just from the touch even if you didn't minister that day, and, and, and I'm keep, I gotta come back mm-hmm. and keep going to that person. Mm-hmm. Why? And they because don't know. They, they still drawn hands. to 
the the light, you know. Mm-hmm. And some people don't understand. They know it's a light. They know it's something. I have people say, I know it's something about you, but mm-hmm. they don't know. But it's the light of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And Jesus gives you that, that that his joy, his love, and, and it permeates. And it's powerful. Yeah. It's a powerful thing. As you d- begin to decrease, then God begins and to increase. increase. So the more you decrease, you know, you become transparent. And then people can see the God in you. Then they begin to believe more because they can see him, mm-hmm. you know, as we decrease ourselves. That's right. You know, we can humble ourselves. Yes, as him. we keep decreasing, then God can increase and people can see God. They and it say, never, yes, it never he stops. He is real, yes. He is. You know, people say the sky is limit. I've learned he is totally unlimited. Oh, yes. He, he Oh, he's beyond and beyond mm-hmm. and beyond. Favor is better than And money. the more you Favor humble yourself, the more you give yourself to the Lord, the more you give it up to God, the more you quit trying to work it yourself mm-hmm. and let God work it for you period mm-hmm. the closer you'll get to him then you then you'll find that resting place the secret place of the most high oh. where he abides then you can rest under that the wing mm-hmm. of trust of him because you know he's gonna take care of business I'm telling you're gonna you. go beyond from believing is the first step mm-hmm. so I, I know it right so i know yeah. i just know that's so why like, i said keep calm like you said the other day she said i don't worry about it right i'm gonna keep <laughs> and that's how we have to be I'm and i'm gonna, gonna give it calm. to god mm-hmm. give it to god so we're telling you i know that he's gonna give work it, it out to God. Give yourself to God. I mean, he sent uh, Jesus, his son, his only begotten son, up on that cross to mm-hmm. die for our sins. And he, he died and, and rose again. He was bruised for our Iniquities, transgressions. Iniquities, so that we can be healed today. Mm-hmm. Now, this second. Right we now. have so much um, blessings that we have, we don't even really realize what we have. Mm-hmm. I'm going to ask, because uh, we're going to ask the call to come back on the set and our evangelist has to go. So we're going to ask her to say a prayer. Amen. For us. And then we're going to ask him to play the second song on that CD so that we can switch sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Okay. Amen. Father, as we come before you right now, we just thanking you, Lord God, again for just being who you are in our lives, Lord God. Father, we just ask right now that you would just touch your people under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Father, you know those that are out there, Lord God, that are hearing me right now, Lord God. You know what they're going through, Lord God. They might be going through suicide, Lord God. They might be having depression, Lord God. Father, I understand because I've been there, Lord God, and I understand depression, and I understand, Lord God, how it feels to be under pressure, Lord Jesus. But, Father, I want them to know right now that they could just turn to you because you are the way out. Father, and you might be going through right now, but I'm telling you right now that God has a way. He has a ram in the mm-hmm. bush for you. Mm-hmm. He has a ram. He always has a ram, a way out, a way of escape for you. There is a way. Death is not the way. Death is not the way. Yes. Jesus came that you may have life and have life eternally yes, with him. Lord. But you got to do it the right way. Jesus will help you. He will bring you through. All you got to do is trust and believe mm. in him and he will do it. People don't understand, but Jesus is real. He He's is real. alive. He's sitting right there. He's working for you right now. He's praying for you. He's praying for you. And if you got Jesus praying for you, you don't have to worry about anything. He got it. He got the whole situation in his hand. I'm telling you, all you got to do is just keep getting up every day and Jesus will work it out for you. Just keep on believing and just keep on trusting. Just keep on going over hurdle after hurdle. Just keep going through situation after situation. But just keep on believing that he's going to bring you through. And I'm telling you you you're gonna get a call like i did and they're gonna say i got good news for you and they're gonna give you that good news and you're gonna be so happy you're gonna say could nobody do that but jesus Jesus. he can turn the heart of the king he can go to high places that you can't go but he can go there and i'm telling you if he was sending the holy ghost for you right now i'm sending him right there right where you are right now and he's gonna deliver you he's gonna set you free he's gonna deliver you Keep you from being under suicide. Keep you from being depressed. Just get in your word and believe God. Yes. He will make a way for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'd like to add to that. Thank you so much uh, for that beautiful, beautiful prayer. Uh, I feel the strength in that. And I also want to pray for those at this moment that may be undergoing surgery or need a healing in their body. Uh, and they just, you know, it, it's sometimes it's a nerve-wracking, scary thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people have wrecked with diseases. Some people have had accidents. Some people just 
may think that they may not make it, but we're praying right now in the name of Jesus that he will do a miraculous healing mm -hmm. in your body. Yes. For all this week long, next week, right now, anybody that's going into surgeries, anybody that's going in this in surgery right this minute, we pray. And anybody that's on life support, we ask God right now to do a revival for them. Mm -hmm. because, and let the people see that God yet reigns. There's so many people that don't believe, but believe that God is the ultimate. He can, he can, Take them off of life support. He can mm -hmm. give them their mind. He can bring them through a total surgery and give them a speedy healing. Yes, he we can. ask God that in the name of Jesus. He says we're two or three touch and agree anything on earth and yes. ask his name. He said he'll do it. Mm -hmm. He will do it. Believe that he will do it. I believe. Do you That's believe right. today? I knew y'all believe today. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then if some of us may be sitting around here not even knowing what we got wrong with us. We asking God to touch that and heal that too. Mm -hmm. Because it's only he that wakes us up this morning. Yes. Allows us to walk around and do what we do. And, and so it could be any issue going on. We ask God to touch it and heal it right now yes. in Jesus' in name. The name. There's power Jesus. in the name of Jesus. And yes, ask God for is. mighty healing right now. And if you want to give us a call, um, 313-243-4674. Give them, give them your number, your Vans. They want to call for prayer. 313-229-0849. 313-229-0849. You can call that number anytime for prayer. Anytime you need prayer, call. Yes. I will pray with you, stand in agreement with you, and believe God for change because I know he will bring change. Amen. I mean, you want to give me a phone number? I want to pray. Please do. Okay. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, dear God, we ask that you strengthen those that are weak, dear God. We ask that you give them the who, what, when, where, and how to go about finding what it is that you will have them to do, dear God. Yes. Satan, the Lord God, binds and rebuke you. The if there be Jesus. any residue in those victims and those people's lives that have been have, that have used drugs or any generational curses, dear oh, God, yes, Lord, we ask Lord, that Lord, you Lord. continue to touch them spiritually, dear yes. God. We ask that you give them some type of spiritual tuning. You, We're asking for spiritual we're asking for miracle signs and wonders, dear yes, God. Lord, yes, Lord. We're asking to make a way out of no way in the name of in Jesus. Name of Jesus. Yes, dear Lord. God, we're asking even as they look in the mirror, dear God. Yes. We ask that you light your let your light shine mm -hmm. on anything that is dark and anything that is not of you in the name of Jesus. Yes. We ask that you expose the enemy in their lives, dear mm -hmm. God. Hallelujah. We ask that you send someone from somewhere, somehow, dear God, to give them a word of encouragement yes, in Lord. the name of Jesus, dear God. Yes. We we ask that you continue to touch them from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, dear God. Yes. We ask that you tighten up their armor, dear God, Bless and you. let there be a two-edged sword in the, name of, in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Dear God, we ask that you just continue to strip any residue. Yes. Any residue. Yes. We even ask that you detour any familiar spirits, yes. dear God, yes. that may come to detour your plan yes, in these people's lives, dear God. Yes. We ask that Hallelujah. you continue to touch them in the name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Yes. We're asking continuously every day for a supernatural touch, dear yes. God. Yes. We ask that your fire be placed in their belly. Yes. And we ask that rivers of living water yes. flow yes. through their lives, yes. dear God. We speak life and life more abundantly in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, you, dear Lord. God, we're asking that you continue to let your light shine, dear God, for where there was a way out before, yes. we ask that you let there be a way again. Yes. In the name of Jesus, name dear of God, Lord. we ask that you send conviction, dear God, yes. to detour the pathway of the enemy. Yes, we Lord. ask that you straighten up the crooked in the name of Jesus. Yes, we yes, ask Lord. that you touch them and place their feet in the righteous pathway. Yes, yes. yes. Dear God, we ask that you send help in the name of yes, Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for those prayers. I wanted to um, take a break for us. Uh, can we do number two? And uh, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you once again for tuning in. Uh, Jesus is my friend. That's again, that is Reverend James McCurry. And remember, Jesus is your friend. He's my friend. If you just let him be. Um, we just have just blessed today to be here in the studios of um, 88.1 FM here in Highland Park, WHPR TV 33. And uh, I just want to thank Pastor Tony Hicks for the opportunity. And once again, we're praying for your speedy healing, Pastor Hicks, that you um, get back and come back and do your great ministry that you do, as, as we know that God will. And that we're praying for you right now. Um, I think that, Ms., uh, that LaCall wants something to say. Go ahead. 
Good evening again, and just God bless you, and may heaven smile upon you. It's funny that the I got to hurry. I have to hurry up. Going through suicidal, we do not know how much rampant suicidal I experienced that today, and I hope my pastor, the beloved London, Washington, don't mind. I experienced that a few a little while ago. Pray for suicidal. It's no joke out here. We need to pray on that. Yes, we do. God bless you and God keep you. Our time is limited. And God bless this young pastor right here. Thank you. Well, we, we want to say today, God does everything for a purpose. And, you know, when when Jesus was here on earth, he Hallelujah. walked with all kind of people, all kind of lifestyles, all, you know, people. And his thing was Jeez. to love them. And teach them the word of God so their lives could change. Jeez. So they can have a chance for salvation. Amen. Amen. So they, when it's time to wrestle, rest, you will rest with him. Mm. And so we can't place our judges on standing and looking at people and how they look and how they say and no, what they no. sound. And this and that other. Because if, if you're a Christian, you're going to reach out to whoever. Because that's what Jesus did. He that's reached out he to did. anybody, everybody. That's what he did. You know, and, and pray for salvation. And you don't know whose life might be touched or saved just because of the love that Jesus has given you. Thank you. Thank you. So we want to encourage the call here today. Thank you. And and that's why you're here. That's why I'm here. Because when I called you this morning, I didn't know you was going through when I called you this morning. No, you didn't. Thank and, you, Pastor. And God blessed you to be obedient to join us. Thank you, Pastor. And did not know. Thank you, God. But we, 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 you're here for a reason. For a reason. Because God does not want you... Yes. To leave this earth, He wants you to be with Him. He yes. wants your yes. your life to continue yes. to revolve evolve around Him. Yes, yes. He, he He delivered you from drugs. He yes. delivered you from sleeping in the alleys. He delivered you from uh, walking mm. on the streets. He delivered you from so much. Now He's so still do delivering with he's you. He's still, brought you this far. Still, there's no time to give up. He's still on and, the throne. And we can't. We, we don't want Satan. No. They have the opportunity. Thank you. We bind Satan right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, through Jesus Christ, to rebuke in Jesus name. the spirit of suicide and any suicide. other spirits. It's just not like God of depression and take getting, we want him to leave this earth. Go ahead. Um, also, I just wanted to let you know, what is your name? Lacall. Lacall. When I heard the word Lacall, I thought I heard the call. I thought I heard the call. There's a calling on your life. Bless and you. One thing, God has nothing to do with suicide. So it's a team that you can be on. You mm -hmm. can be on God's team or the enemy's team. Mm -hmm. that just like there's God, just like God has a will, just as God has a will for your life, the enemy, the devil has a will for your life as well. Mm -hmm. He has it written in stone. He wants you to die. He wants you to kill yourself. He wants you to not think you're beautiful. He wants you to think everything against what it is and the reason why God has purposed you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did, did something happen right there? It it's, looks like a mark. Like you have a mark. Like your mark. Something happened. That no, was there. I'm saying the mark. Oh, You're marked. Mm -hmm. It looks mm -hmm. like a mark. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Like when I'm God listening. marks you. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. It's a mark. Okay. So you have to be able to discern. We pray and ask that God give you discernment and know the trickery. Because... Not, suicide has nothing to do with God. No, it doesn't. That's the devil. Yes, he is. wants you to kill yourself. Yes, he does. God wants you to live. Live. Life. And there is a there is a battle. There's a battle. Yeah. It's a war. We don't fight against the flesh. It's powers and principalities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to understand that. Like, you're so different. You're so different to where it's, it's, it's like unique. I get criticized. I didn't want to say that, but yeah. And it's and is you you have to know who you are in Christ. That's why you woo! have to lean towards Christ instead of leaning towards something you're familiar Hallelujah. with. Yeah. That was trying to take your life right, away. Exactly. Bless this woman. You have to lean towards something that you're not familiar with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's a word. Amen. And, and that's a word that's been reiterated again today because woo! who you're dealing with and those that judge you and those that Verbally, you know, the Bible said the words can kill. Can the kill. tongue, is, is, it can kill. James but, 3, but, 6. Okay, so now you know this, and you can't not let, you can't 
allow, this is what I say, if you resist the devil, resist he will flee. God will give you strength, strength. to do that. And to you need to remove yourself from a situation when you know this is going on. And also, if you could be faithful, we, we have to learn how to be faithful to ourselves. If we don't love ourselves, nothing and nobody else will. There's no drug. There's no high. There's no nothing that will love us more than God or ourselves. Mm -hmm. And also, try to, when you look, when you get up every day, speak life to yourself. Thank you. Speak life to yourself. Speak Thank those you. things that you don't believe are. Thank Tell you. yourself you concert Friday, November 11th at 7 p.m. at the International Institute, located at 111 East Kirby in Detroit. Featuring Darlene and Sarah and Company, Irene Washington, Simon Black, Ernestine McCall, Pastor Aaron Shackelford, London, Washington, Patricia Stark, Reverend Eli Harvey, Corporate Prayer Leader, Elder John Milborn, and more. All are welcome. Dad, you're all that I've had in my entire life. How could you do this to me? Treshawn, son, please calm down. I'm gonna have to tell you everything now. Oh, he's such a great man. You know, you know of my secret. I am not proud of how things turned out. Everything's going to be all right. Nobody knows about this. You know, one day he's going to find out all of this stuff. Oh, my God, Rachel! Oh, my goodness. Great, Rachel. And you helped her keep this secret up? I can't believe it. I cannot. You shut up! No, this isn't right, Lord. Shut up, Rachel! This is not right. Rachel! Come on, now. You can't. Don't tell. This is something you, you just cannot tell. This has to be a secret between my mouth shut. me, Mona, and you. Come on. Will you please promise? Come on, Rachel. Like, remember how we used to do when we were children? Pinky promise, please. We did it when we were kids. I promise. You promise? I promise. I promise. You, I love she you. Was on the What? I told you this wasn't gonna work. What are you doing with that? You? Me? Like I said, I did it to protect other people. I don't know what people you got to give me that weapon. No. You go Bishop, are you okay? Are you all right? Are you all right, Bishop? Yeah, I got everything you need. You with me? Yeah, I'm with you. We got this. Yeah, we got We will revise a strategy to capture him immediately. <laughs> 